Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor. I have another Halo 4 tips and tricks video for you. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to go back and do a new loadout video. I've done them in the past, but a lot of people want to know now that I have a lot more experience, there's some new maps, uh, I've unlocked some specializations, you know, what am I using now, what, how do I feel about them, so that's what I want to do here as requested. And potentially this could be a super long video. So I'm just warning you now, there's just so much information to talk about with the loadouts. I mean, I could do like an hour on loadouts alone. So I'm going to try to be brief, but also give you enough information so you can make your own decisions for your own loadouts and start, uh, you know, winning more games and having more fun while you're doing it. So let's go into the loadout menu here. I've got five loadouts like everybody else, and uh, they're in no particular order really. So I'm just going to go down the line. The first one I use for most of my big team games it's the DMR because on big team you got to go DMR it just has pinpoint accuracy at long range and uh, works except exceptionally well on big team maps and uh, plasma pistol plasma grenade uh, I, I use those on big team because you got to stun the vehicles then tag them with the plasma grenades so this is kind of my anti vehicle uh, combination here uh, I don't really use plasma pistols against Spartans very much, but it's great against uh, vehicles. And there's nothing worse than having, you know, being up against a tank, a wraith, a banshee, uh, a warthog, and having something like a bolt shot frag grenade combination. Like it's ludicrous. You know, you just get owned. You have to have the plasma pistol, plasma grenade when you go into big team. Just no question. Uh, active camouflage is great for big team because you know it's an extraordinary defensive ability you can just sit back it you know find a powerful position find the high ground uh, use your active camouflage and your DMR and I go on really long streaks with these the, with this combination I'm getting frenzies and running riots all the time all the time and uh, AA efficiency is one of my favorite tactical packages because it allows your armor ability to regenerate much more quickly and this is a huge benefit I mean this benefits you just constantly throughout the game doesn't matter if you're using active camouflage Promethean vision whatever it is you can use your armor ability much much more often if you have that AA efficiency and so that's one of my favorite packages I use it in a couple of my loadouts and then on big team when you go on those big sprees when you're you're on a frenzy uh, you're bound to run out of ammunition if you don't have the ammo upgrade. It's absolutely obnoxious that with with like your traditional uh, amount of ammunition, you can only get like really like three or four kills if you're pushing it. And it other than that, you know you're in trouble. And on a big team map, you you know a lot of times you're killing opponents who are are very far away from you, and you don't have opportunities to go over there and collect their ammunition after you kill them. And so. You know, if you're going to sit back with active camo and the DMR, you have to have ammo. Otherwise, you're going to run out really quickly. So, that's that's this package. Let's move on quickly. Uh, this one I've been using a lot with uh, the new the new map, uh, the new Forge maps, the new playlist. And it's really, I, I love it. I, I really love that new playlist. And so, let me tell you what I'm using and why. I, I like the battle rifle in, in close to mid-range situations. If you're not using the scope, the battle rifle is more powerful than the DMR. Now, obviously, the battle rifle has less range than the DMR, but I've found in almost every single encounter that I've participated in, if one player has the battle rifle, the other player has the DMR, whoever has the battle rifle usually has a very slight advantage, and that slight advantage can turn into a huge advantage because you only need a slight advantage for you to recharge your shields while the other person respawns right it only takes a slight advantage and so you do that over and over and over again and over the course of a game or several games the battle rifle really becomes you know it gives you a lot more kills and allows you to to uh, preserve your life many more times over the dmr but only again if you're not using the scope like if you're in a close enough that you don't need to scope in Go with the battle rifle now if it's going to be long range the dmr is a little bit better uh bolt shot i hate this weapon it's so overpowered it's so obnoxious but if you can't beat it you have to use it if they're not going to take it out or or uh, tone it down you just have to use it because it's just way too powerful to ignore so bolt shots in here i, I really don't use it much because i'm lousy with it but it's so powerful you can't ignore it the frag grenades i, I prefer frag grenades on any map where i think they're going to bounce well uh 
because when you bounce the frag grenades they explode in the air or at least potentially can and that uh, may, means they're a little closer to your opponent's head which means you're more likely to get kills so I like the frag grenades they're a little bit more difficult for your opponents to evade because the plasma grenades land on the floor they're stuck to the floor and it's easy for your opponents to jump away from them frag grenades much more difficult for your opponents to anticipate where they're gonna bounce how they're gonna land it's a lot easier to get kills that way uh, so I like the frag grenades a little bit more but of course on some maps uh, they they don't bounce or they're not gonna stick to the vehicles so so you know it's kind of 50 50 uh, Promethean vision is just excellent this is an excellent excellent ability if you haven't uh, used it much I use it often especially on maps where there's poor sight lines you know you like on uh, let's see what is it a drift is really good scythe that's really good just maps where you can't see a lot you can anticipate the movements of your opponents extremely well this is a super powerful ability I really like it quite a bit I, I use also here AA efficiency again just because you want to use that Promethean vision over and over and over and over and over again and so uh, the AA efficiency helps you it gives you really maximum benefit and then dexterity uh, this is just one of those upgrades you don't always notice when you have it you notice when you don't have it uh, and so having dexterity just makes a huge huge difference you know when you've got dexterity uh, you know you reload quicker you change weapons more quickly and uh, you know it just it, it makes it makes a huge difference in a fast-paced game right in close combat close quarters fast-paced game be able to switch weapons quickly reload quickly makes a huge difference between killing and dying uh, next one I use I this used to be my favorite one but I've been using it a lot less lately so I'm not sure what that says about it but again DMR long-range situations plasma pistol plasma grenade good for uh, bit you know stunning vehicles and sticking them the regen field I really like the regen field a lot just because it's very helpful with you know it benefits your entire team not just you that's what I like about it so all the other armor abilities are very self-centered they serve only you for the most part but this one helps everybody on your team so even if you don't need that regen field if your teammates know that you have it and they need it they can ask you to use it and you can and it'll help them and so for that reason I like it quite a bit the mobility is excellent again this is one that you can use all the time over and over and over again it comes in handy in every situation uh, I guess I I've been using this loadout mostly for objective games so like capture the flag Dominion uh, oddball things like that this package works extremely well because you've got long range for some of those uh, long range situations um, You've, you've, you've got mobility so you're able to move across the maps very quickly towards the objective so for example you know if you're gonna need to go out and grab a flag or recover your flag you can go out very quickly and do that same with like oddball or dominion you know, like dominion you need to be chasing from one base to another all the time so having mobility is really helpful again dexterity is just a good standby and then like you know the regen field is really uh, very useful on Dominion if you're in the base trying to hold it down regen field is excellent or if you are playing capture the flag you're on defense you need to recover your flag or just trying to protect the flag regen field can be very helpful there as well so I, I kind of I guess I've been using this on objective a lot I used to use it on everything but lately it's mostly just objective uh, here's grenadier in my opinion you just have to have at least one grenadier uh, load out. I mean you just have to there's really no question about it you have to have a grenadier package somewhere so I use grenadier and explosives I know some other people use grenadier and resupply uh, I like this a little bit better uh, because the explosives not only makes your grenades more explosive but it also protects you from grenades so I like that a little bit better than resupply uh, but you can go either way I've, I've paired it with jetpack for no particular reason I just needed jetpack in here somewhere because I don't use jetpack often but you have to have it eventually there's just some situations where you need to have a jetpack so you, you have to have a loadout somewhere with jetpack so I kind of felt like I had to have a grenadier loadout and I had to have a jetpack loadout and even though they don't go perfectly together I just put all that into one and definitely I go with frag grenades here the frag grenades are just a little bit more powerful like I said earlier so if you're gonna do a grenadier loadout you got to do it with frag grenades do it right uh, again and I feel like if 
I'm close enough to lob grenades. If I'm close enough to uh, throw a grenade in an opponent, I'm close enough to kill him with the battle rifle. And so I use the battle rifle here again because I feel like it's just slightly better than the DMR, especially if you don't need to scope in. Uh, finally, we get to the wheel man, and this is quickly becoming like one of my most favorite loadouts ever. I absolutely love this. I completed the operator uh, specialization, which unlocks the wheel man tactical package. And what this does is it fortifies your vehicles and makes them much more powerful. So uh, they're like armored vehicles. They're much, much more, they can absorb so much more damage. And also when you get stunned with a plasma pistol, they recover very quickly. It's just a very quick stun. And then you're back into action. And I've been using this a lot. And this is fantastic. I mean, like you can go into a Banshee and the Banshee is just super powerful. It's very difficult to shoot the Banshees down. Same with like the tank. The tank can absorb so much, so many shots. You know, if you get stuck with a plasma grenade, it's like they just like bounce off when you have the wheel, man. It's so impressive. And uh, so I've just been using it a ton. I was in the uh, the Mantis the other day with the wheel man. I got hit with the laser and like I did it like just went through me. Like it didn't even like knock my shields down. It was just incredible. So I really like the wheel man a lot. It's very, very powerful. But of course, obviously you only want to use this if you're loading out on a map where you anticipate getting into vehicles. You know, if you're not going to do get into a vehicle, then don't waste your time with this. Uh, you know, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, when I'm in a vehicle, it felt like the only upgrade that really made sense was sensor. And it actually, it's, it's very helpful when you're in those vehicles because you're able to identify where your opponents are coming from. So, you know, a lot of times with vehicles, the trouble is that, um, you know, you don't want to get stuck, uh, or hijacked or something like that. And sensor helps you avoid getting hijacked or, tagged with a plasma, plasma pistol or something like that. So sensor works really well uh, with Wheelman. And also, you know, if, if you're driving, say, the Gauss Hog and you're trying to, you know, help your gunner line up shots, a lot of times that sensor will help you know exactly where the opponents are and where to find them. And I, I actually like sensor quite a bit. Now, the armor ability here isn't as important to me because if I'm in a vehicle, I'm not using an armor ability. But, uh, you know, sometimes you can't, find a vehicle you've you've chosen this package but you can't find a vehicle so you need to have some kind of armor ability there and i figured most of the time that's big team maps and if i'm on a big team map i just feel like the best armor ability is active camo and i know that drives people crazy to use active camo on a big map but that's what i use uh and again if i'm on a big map you know i want to have that dmr the plasma pistol as well as well as the plasma grenades i've already talked about why i use those on big maps so that's kind of obvious there. Again, we, when you have the wheel man, you're in the vehicle most of the time. So wheel man's about the only thing that's really important. But sensor helps here as well. Uh, I want to go in quickly if I can. I know this video is getting really long, but I just want to cover as much as I can in one video so I don't have to do several. Uh, a lot of people are asking me how I get the skins on my weapons. You, com you get skins on your weapons after you complete all the different specializations. I don't want to go into all the specializations and which skins they unlock. I've already done videos on all the specializations. So if you want to know how to get skins on your weapons, you have to go back, watch my specialization videos, and each one will tell you which uh, weapon skin is unlocked with each one. So anyway, I've got all these weapon skins. Uh, because I've unlocked specific specializations, plus I have at least one of these is from uh, pre-ordering the game. I got some skins there. Uh, I've already talked about uh, I, I prefer battle rifle over DMR in close to medium range, but at long range, DMR is the best, no question about it. I, I very rarely ever use these Promethean or Covenant weapons. Uh, I just don't. Uh, the, the biggest problem with those weapons, they're not terrible, it's just that Nobody else uses them, and so you can't ever pick up ammunition for your weapons. Like if you've got, you know, if you've got a carbine or a suppressor or a light rifle or a storm rifle, like you can't ever pick up ammunition for any of these weapons. It's a joke. So I don't ever use them. Also, I very rarely use the automatic weapons, the battle, the uh, assault rifles. Uh, they're okay for close range situations. I've tried them out. I just like the battle rifle better than the assault rifle. Uh, secondary weapons, I usually go with the plasma pistol because I like playing big team. I like stunning those vehicles, but I rarely go with the magnum. It's just too underpowered. I mean, granted, you, you can you can make it work, 
But the bolt shot's just ridiculous. The bolt shot's so overpowered that you gotta pick the bolt shot over the magnum. I mean, come on. The bolt shot does everything the magnum will do, but way more. So you can't. You have to go with the bolt shot, really, unless you're trying to stun vehicles. Uh, grenades, like I said earlier, I like using plasma grenades on uh, maps where you're, you have to stick vehicles. Otherwise, I like the frag grenades for bouncing and pulse grenades. I never, ever, ever use. These are a joke. Uh, armor abilities. So I've already gone over active camo, which I like. Promethean vision, which I like. Thruster pack. I've, I've seen a lot of really good players using this effectively and evading my shots. I have not been able to use it as effectively. I don't like it, but I see other people doing really well with it, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Hologram, uh, just it's interesting, but a little too passive for me, so I don't use this very often. Hard light shield, I, I do use occasionally. I don't have a standard loadout for this, but if you're trying to be aggressive on an objective game like uh, Dominion or Capture the Flag or something, and you're trying to spearhead a, a push, then hard light shield can actually be really helpful. Auto sentry, again, uh, it's okay, but just too limited compared to your alternatives. And reach and field, I said, I like a lot because it's one of the few abilities which uh, you know benefits your entire team, not just yourself. Tactical packages, wheelman, I've already told you I love this tactical package. It's so much fun for a big team. Mobility is fantastic because it, it uh, benefits you all the time. It's just a huge, huge benefit. Helps you out in just so many different situations. That And it's always, it's always working for you. That's the thing that I, I like. Packages that are always working for you. Shielding. Okay, I've never really used this much. I'm not going to comment because I don't use it that much. Resupply. I just prefer Grenadier. I just think that Grenadier... Well, I don't know. Maybe I should try resupply. I don't know. Resupply and Grenadier, it's kind of a toss-up. AA efficiency, I love it because it just it just helps you all the time. It's constantly working for you. That's what I like about it. Uh, firepower, I'd rather just pick up a second weapon instead of loading out with it. I just it, it seems like a good idea, but I'd rather just pick up a second weapon. And then fast track, this is fantastic as long as you're playing Spartan Ops. I've been able to rank up really quickly playing uh, matched, you know, Spartan Ops uh, using the fast track loadout. So this helps you rank up quickly. I wouldn't use it in multiplayer because it doesn't help you at all. But if you're going to go play Spartan Ops, this is great to use. I like fast track for Spartan Ops. Uh, support upgrades quickly. I'm just uh, sensor. Don't use it a lot. Just kind of use it with that wheelman because it makes sense with wheelman. Ammo, I love because you're always running out of ammunition if you don't use this. Uh, it just helps you all the time. It's just always helpful. And it's great when you pick up like ordnance and power weapons. You know, you get extra rockets, extra sniper rounds, you know, extra plasma cannons. I mean, it, 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 it is fantastic. It really is. Dexterity, again, you just, you don't always notice when you have it. You notice when you don't have it. And it makes a huge difference. Awareness, I've never, ever, ever used this. I probably ought to try it. If you've used it, let me know. Explosives, I use this with Grenadier. I'm not sure if I should use Grenadier or Resupply. That's up to you. It's probably 50-50. Ordnance Priority, I think, is a joke because it so rarely benefits you. Uh, it allows more frequent Ordnance Drops, but that means you're basically going to get like one extra Ordnance Drop each game. So it's not that big of a difference. And... You know, these other things like dexterity and ammo and awareness, they're like constantly benefiting you throughout the entire game you're being you're you're benefiting. But with ordinance priority, it benefits you one time during the game. That's a joke. Uh stealth, I haven't used this. People tell me it doesn't work that well. I mean, it, if you feel like your opponent is using Promethean Vision predominantly, maybe stealth, you know, you might want to think about it, but it's just too situational for me to use in a regular loadout. And then Nemesis, I, I just got this. I haven't tried it yet. I hear it's not that effective. And again, it's only going to help you situationally instead of all the time. So I just can't justify choosing this over something like ammo or dexterity. It just doesn't make sense to me. Gunner will be unlocked soon, so I can't comment. I hear it's pretty good, especially if you're you know in a turret. So I guess we'll see. 
you know, uh, probably combining this with Wheelman and you get in a mech unit, a Mantis, uh, look out for that. That sounds like that would be ferocious. So, all right. I know that this, uh, this video has been like way, way long. So I appreciate your patience. I just wanted to cover as much as I could get it all out there. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please comment. Let me know which loadouts you're using, which ones you like. If you have any ideas for other people, let us know. Uh, you know, if I made any mistakes here, tell me what they were and what you think about it. Uh, but thanks for watching again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add the video to your favorites. Thanks for watching, everybody. Halo 4 Tutor, signing out. I'll see you next time.